So now Brian Kemp is uh, the Republican running for <clears throat> uh, Georgia's governorship, uh, and he's running against uh, former state representative Stacey Abrams. So now uh, they're running in a very heated election, uh, and Brian Kemp happens to also be, uh, along with being a candidate, a uh, he's actually also in charge of elections in Georgia. So that has gotten him some criticism, uh, especially considering that a lot of votes in areas that are Democratic uh, among members of the African-American community have suddenly been frozen. So there are a lot of allegations now of voter suppression going on in the state of Georgia. Now, according to NBC News, Kemp's office has canceled over 1.4 million registrations since the year 20, uh, 2012. Nearly six, uh, 670,000 registrations were canceled in 26, uh, 2017 alone. So that is in the lead up to this uh, election that will be happening, very important election um, that could uh, end up having huge, huge impacts uh, on uh, the Georgia, uh, on the state of Georgia. Uh, so now, um, these allegations, of course, of uh, voter suppression, very, very serious. Uh, so immediately, his campaign spokesman, Ryan Mahoney, puts out a statement, and he says, oh, no, no. See, there's no voter suppression going on here in, in Georgia. In fact, Brian Kemp has actually made this uh, much, much easier to vote in Georgia. In fact, uh, they said... It's never been easier to vote in our state. Why? Because we have online voter registration and a student engagement program. Quote, Kemp is fighting to protect the integrity of our elections and ensure only legal citizens can cast a ballot. So, okay. So, uh, look, that's uh, Republicans, uh, Republican spin on this. Um, and I'm going to tell you why I think that's spin. Because... Along with some of those, yes, positive things, sure, online voter registration, that's great, uh, as well as, you know, student engagement. What you're doing, though, is basically using those positive programs as cover for what you're actually doing. Uh, and they point that out in saying, oh, no, we're trying to protect the integrity of our elections. From what? If you were to actually protect the integrity of your elections, you wouldn't be messing with the elections. You would actually be making sure that everybody can vote. That's not what they're doing. Because what, what they have is something called an exact match registration verification process. So that, uh, along with the mass cancellation of supposedly inactive voter registrations, has led to about 53,000 voter registrations on hold sitting in Kemp's office right now. Now, as I said before, Kemp is in charge of voter registration, and he's also running for governor as a Republican. Do you want to guess whose registrations they've froze? Now, let me give you more context into this policy. Uh, according to uh, the policy, information on voter applications must precisely match information on file with the Georgia Department of Driver Services or the Social Security Administration. Election officials can place non-matching applications on hold. And so they've got about 53,000 of them. Now, an application could be held because of an entry error or a dropped hyphen in a last name, for example. Now, that's the context. And if you're saying, okay, look, that's not bad. What are you talking about? That, that makes sense. Yes, you want to have things that are accurate. So it's got to match exactly. The problem is, is that according to an analysis of the records obtained by the Associated Press, there is a racial disparity that is at play in the process. Georgia's population is approximately 32% black, uh, according to the U.S. Census. But the list of voters for registrations on hold with Kemp's office is disproportionately black. So that is 70% of those held applications are from African Americans. Gee, I wonder if that qualifies as voter suppression. Hmm. 
Now, Kemp's office blames the disparity not on, oh, the, the, no, it's not voter suppression. No, no, we're not trying to suppress the votes from African Americans who will likely vote for my Democratic opponent, Stacey Abrams, and make sure that I lose the election. Oh, no, no, it's not any of that. No, no, you know whose fault it is? It's not our exact match system. It's how you registered. In fact, they're blaming Stacey Abrams for this. Kemp's office blamed the disparity on the New Georgia Project, a voter registration group founded by Stacey Abrams back in 2013. Kemp accuses the organization of being sloppy in registering voters and says they submitted inadequate forms for a batch of applicants that was predominantly black. So wait, so you're going to blame most of these 53,000 uh you know, supposed inaccuracies from 70% of black people on Stacey Abrams. Wow. His office says that the New Georgia product project used primarily paper forms and did not adequately train canvassers to ensure legible, complete forms. Bullshit. His office says, oh no, our law applies equally across all demographic. But these numbers became skewed by the higher usage of one method of registration among one particular demographic group. Not my fault, your fault. Now, anybody else think it's kind of shady that the guy running for governor who controls the ballots is making sure that people who will vote for his opponent are being suppressed? Oh, no, not at all shady. What are you talking about? The Honorable Brian Kemp would never do such a thing. Bull fucking shit. <laughs> Bullshit. Look, here's the thing. So voters with uh, pending status, right, or that are frozen and pending, uh, can do something about it. They have 26 months to fix any issues before their application is canceled. But there is an election right away. How long will that take to process, I wonder? Oh, but don't worry. Even if it's still processing by the time the election rolls around, well, you can still cast a provisional ballot. Uh-oh. The problem with provisional ballots, of course, being is that they don't always count. In fact, for the most part, provisional ballots tend to be the ones that get thrown out the most. So, this is, to me, I, I think this is a case of voter suppression. that will be a little bit hard to prove, but from what I can tell right now, it's definitely a way to, again, block the vote through tricky means in order to make sure that him wins the election. These Republicans, they want to win. They want to hold on to power. They want to get power by hook or by crook, man. And that's exactly what this situation to me seems to indicate. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.